All right, so good day, everybody. Um, my fellow brothers and sisters, I trust that you are all well. My name is Tanda Lamini, and I have been asked to share something on the topic of running, on the topic of run to race or running to race, whichever way we put it. And I just pray that I do some good justice. Hey, I'm praying. So um, let's just get onto it and see what I've, what uh, the Lord has instilled in my heart. Um, I'm just going to read from the book of um, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, which says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for this reading of your word. Just be with us, Lord, as we indulge in it. Um, speak, Lord, on our behalf and touch many hearts, including mine. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So just to go back a little bit, you know, with a brief background on this book that we've just read. Um, this is actually a letter that was written by Paul to Timothy um, in the edges, I mean, in the times of, uh, what is it, in between 64 to 65 AD. He obviously wrote this letter whilst he was on his second imprisonment in Rome and the reason why he even wrote this letter, I mean, uh, the reason why he even wrote this letter was obviously to encourage uh, Timothy to have a strong call and a bold and a clear perseverance of the gospel in spite of all the challenges. You know, it was um, a way of encouraging him to keep on fighting in the faith, uh, regardless of whatever challenge that he came across there's so many things that he encouraged him to do there's so many things that he charged him to do that's the best way he charged him to do if you can even go back into the book of first timothy um i cannot dwell much onto that due to time constraints but the one that i'm focusing on um was this one in chapter four where he actually charged him to preach the word of god if you can go back into verses one you know verse two where he says preach the word preach the word be ready in season and out of season preach the word share the gospel um regardless of whatever you go through share the gospel be ready in season and out of season when it's convenient when it's not convenient not with when it's convenient when it's not convenient share the gospel preach the word he charged him to preach the word for a time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, having eating ears. They will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own personal passions. I'm just reading from verse 3, which we see happening even today. You know, so many people, so many influential um, religious leaders um, distorting the truth, twisting it and saying things that are totally against what the Bible meant to say, you know, when we were reading it and just obviously saying something that will just either please the world. I mean, they sacrifice the truth in pleasing the world. They focus on what the world says and not what the word of God is actually saying. I think that's how far I can There's so much I can go into this. I'm just choosing bits and pieces. But the most that I really want to focus on is that on verse 7, I have fought the good fight. I have finished <clears throat> the race. I have kept the faith you know going back into paul's life we we all know the amount of suffering he endured for the gospel we know how many times he was imprisoned for the gospel we know how many times he was stoned because of the gospel you know when we're reading this and when you're going to when we're going back into the life of paul as when, when we're reading from the book of acts romans ephesians corinthians you know we know that paul was ready to pay the ultimate sacrifice for the love of god and that he considered his life breath as mentioned in verse 6 that he considered his life breath which was soon to expire um what can i say he considered his life breath uh, that was about to be poured out to the lord so dearly another thing that we can say is that paul learned uh, that the christian life is more of a spiritual battle than a struggle against evil um, 
and again just going back he also recognized that you know the grace of god that was extended to him the persecutions of the church i mean he faced a lot of suffering okay he was beaten with rods he was stoned by angry crowds he was imprisoned from time and time and again as i mentioned earlier on he faced a lot of hostility from you know evil people suffered great antagonism from his enemies obviously causing him many hardships and sleepless nights there's so much that i can say to go on but despite all that suffering despite all that he endured one thing that we can say is that or oh, we can argue with that but paul learned that living a spiritual life and maturing in the christian faith usually it does not it did not depend on his own ability to okay it did not depend on his own ability wisdom intelligence or efforts uh, but always obviously it depended on the power of the indwelling spirit of christ that was working and living through him which is something that we all ought to know and to remember um one thing that i can say re regarding living this letter itself in verse 7 is that okay how do i put it you know <clears throat> when paul paul even wrote this letter to timothy to the reason why paul wrote this letter to timothy that's the way i can put it please forgive me sometimes i get nervous um was to become the greatest encouragement to timothy and to us as well to fight the good fight of faith to run the race um yeah as as mentioned i have finished the race to run the race that has been set before us and to honor the lord in all that we do by keeping the faith and enjoying to the end so one thing that I could probably say is that you know this type of suffering that Paul endured in his time is the same suffering that we as Christians are likely to endure um, regardless despite of where you are I mean um, it can differ I mean, the, the, the type of suffering that you will enjoy in China is not the type of suffering that you will enjoy in, in countries like the Middle East but still you know Christians are still being persecuted for their faith even this day as much as we don't see it in the media we don't see it in the news and the newspapers but it's there and i cannot dwell much onto that but hey we still suffer we still go through so much pain even in, in africa in countries that we consider predominantly christian we get persecuted for preaching the truth even in itself we get persecuted for preaching the truth even in amongst even ourselves as christian brothers and sisters some of people are even not willing to hear what the word of god says you know we go through a lot other types of sufferings that i can even talk about is our own personal struggles we have various types of sins that are sometimes even difficult to let go that you even feel like oh my goodness how can i be set free from this type of sin you know this so much that we go through even our own personal struggles there's so much suffering that we go through but hey we endure for the sake of the gospel now coming to this topic um, running to win running the race in itself running to win running the race uh, I just want to talk about running in itself and in, in its essence you know running we can say it's more like it's almost the same as the Christian life you know and I want to put it in that context you know sometimes running might hurt and but in that painful process, we have to keep on running, guys. We have to keep on running. Some days we might feel so discouraged and you might feel like we have let God down and because of that, we just feel like letting go. And sometimes we can be so consumed in our own personal struggles and sin that we feel like God just does not want to hear it. God, God wants nothing to do with me, but hey, he is a loving God, a loving Father who forgives, who loves. If we come to Him, we repent, we open our heart and we acknowledge our sins. He is faithful enough and loving enough to forgive us our own trespasses. Um, so continuing from where I left up, sorry I got carried away. 
But uh, in that process, you know, uh, the spirit inside of us, Christian, the Holy Spirit which lives inside of us will never allow us to quit. Never quit. We must run understanding the grace of God. Run this race understanding the grace of God. Even though there will be days where you don't feel like running, even though there will be days where you don't feel like sharing the gospel, where you don't feel like praying, where you don't feel like reading the Bible, you just have to keep on running. Keep on praying. Keep on going. Think about the love of Christ. Think about what he endured on the cross. Think about the amount of pain he went through because of the great love of God that was in him. He kept on moving regardless of the humiliation that he faced. And I'm talking about Christ. So to conclude everything, even though I went beyond time, please guys forgive me. I just want to say that, you know, I'll come back again. Christ kept on moving through the pain because in his mind he knew the great love that God had for him. And I just want to conclude by saying that it is the love of God that will motivate us to keep pushing and moving. Never give up. Keep on running this race. Keep on moving. We'll get there. Once the, set, well, once the sun has set on our time, taken from the Lion King, um, we will stand before uh, the judgment throne and we will account for all that we have done. And I pray that we take the time to really self-introspect and see where do we stand. Do we have any personal encounter with Lord Jesus Christ? Do we know? Do we have a relationship with Jesus? Let us just take this time and on this journey just know that it's going to be a tough journey. I'm not going to lie. The Christian journey is not an easy one. The journey of faith is never an easy one, but you will get there. You hold on and never be a loner Christian. Always keep in fellowship with, fellow Christ, uh, with your fellow brothers and sisters. Never give up. Know that God loves you and God is still with us wherever we are. Let's keep fighting and let's win this race. God loves you. I thank you.